Do you have a product or a service or an event that you put together for your company and you have a desire to want to have people share that on social channels like Facebook and Twitter? Wouldn't it be awesome if there was an easy way to completely customize it? Well, this little navigation system right here is a metaphor for what I'm going to be sharing in today's video. I'm going to tell you how you can customize social sharing so that regardless of what page people are on for your product or your event or your company, you can control the desired outcome. One of the desired outcomes that you may be looking for is the desire to drive a lot more traffic to whatever it is that you have to sell. Maybe you want to make sure that whenever someone promotes whatever you have to sell into their social channel of choice that it looks and sounds the same. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in today's video. Before I show you how to do this, let me show you what it looks like. Let's say you've got a product or a service uh, website, like for example, we've got Social Media Marketing World, and you scroll down on the page, and somewhere on the page, you've decided to add social share buttons. You can see that we put them at the bottom of the page, and the idea here is that when someone clicks the share button, hopefully it's going to populate in some information that says whatever you want to say so that when they write about it on their Facebook timeline, it looks really nice. Or perhaps they hit the retweet button and you say you want to say check out Social Media Marketing World with a link and with a hashtag. This is something that you can do very easily across multiple pages and still have the exact same thing. Like for example, here we are on our speakers page. I'm scrolling down through the speakers and I decide, oh, I want to retweet this here. And sure enough, it pops up that information. Or let's say I want to post it on LinkedIn. So this is what it looks like. The ability to control the message, to have a consistent message across multiple pages so that when they hit the share button, you know that it's going to drive back to the main page that you want to. And in our case, it's the homepage for Social Media Marketing World. Okay, I'm going to share with you how to do this with Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. And the keywords that you want to remember is Twitter, share button, Facebook, share button. You can Google these words to find the pages that I'm showing you. When you go to Twitter, it's very easy. You just basically put in the URL that you want Twitter to point to. You can choose to use the title of the page, but I would instead suggest you customize it. And this is where you can actually put in here, hey, check out Social Media Marketing World. You can show the share count and um, you can put a hashtag in. You can also change the button into a large button and you can do a number of different things here. But the idea here is the end result is you're given a little piece of code. You copy that code and that code is going to go into uh, your website. If you're on a WordPress uh, website, you can paste this into a widget. Now with Facebook, it's a very similar thing. And again, just remember Google Facebook share button. Now with Facebook, you don't have as many options. You simply have the option to paste in the URL that you want to share. And then you have different kinds of, of, of icons like the box icon and, and box count and all sorts of different shares. And it's that simple. And again, you're going to be given a piece of code. Now with Facebook, there's a couple things you should know. If you're using a WordPress driven website, you want to use the WP open graph plugin because here's the deal. Facebook does not allow you to customize the content in the share button. Instead, Facebook is going to draw the customization from whatever URL you paste in. So let me give you an example. Here I am logged into Social Media Examiner. And on the page that I'm pointing to, which is Social Media Marketing World's main page, it allows me to customize exactly what that's going to look like. And what you see right here, I can change that. I can do whatever I want. But this exact data is what Facebook is going to pull in. Now, this is also important for LinkedIn. So if you Google LinkedIn share button, you're going to be in a very similar situation where you're brought to a page, you paste in the URL, you decide if you want vertical or horizontal, you get the code. Now, with both Facebook and LinkedIn, they're both tapping the open graph data. And let me show you. So for example, when I hit the share button on Facebook, you'll notice 
it looks exactly you know exactly the same as what I was showing you earlier. Now watch what happens when I hit the LinkedIn one. The LinkedIn one is the exact same content. The only difference is the images. Now the images are typically pulled automatically from the homepage. So that's how LinkedIn works. LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Now the last one is Google Plus. To find the Google Plus share button, you simply just search for Google Plus share and you have the exact same option. Now the key thing on Google Plus is you wanna click under advanced options and then you want to paste in a URL. When you paste in the URL, that's when it'll go ahead and also pull data from the website. Before I conclude, if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and to check out the other videos that are in this series. Now earlier I talked about the metaphor of a navigation system. The benefit of a navigation system is it's kind of autopilot. It's done for you and it always gets you where you need to go. And that's the point of having these customized share buttons. You want to make it effortless and most people will never edit it and they will promote this and they'll point back to exactly the right page, which is exactly what you want. My name is Michael Stelzner. I'll be sure to leave links to all the social share buttons in the notes underneath the YouTube video. Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day and I hope this helps out a lot.